Kane, and there's bit still there in third with Ryde in fourth, Jackson fifth, Danny Kent is sixth, and then it's O'Halloran. There he is, number 22, the McCam Yamaha rider. Keep a BDI on O'Halloran. See what he's uh, lapping at as we come across the line, because we are ticking down on the laps. Yeah. O'Halloran, yeah, he's the fastest guy of the group. 16.1 from Jason O'Halloran. I rather fancy this Jason O'Halloran has decided now is the he's time. Go. Yeah, and the way he managed and had the tyre left to get through the pack in front last race was very, very impressive. One, then another, then another, and forward the whole time. Tommy Bridewell's running into more trouble. He's just fallen now back into the hands of his teammate. There is O'Halloran then. Fastest rider out front, Steve Rogers watching on. What a turnaround this would be for O'Halloran in this season. Many people's pre-season favourite with Mind. the new points Absolutely system. Mind. Yeah, just because we figured that the non-showdown type, but even though we've got quite a different point system this year, non-showdown, we thought we were going to suit him. And, and, and also we felt that the bad luck he'd had for the last three or four years, and there was a lot of that, uh, surely couldn't continue. And it did. <laughs> it did. It did. Park as well. Like he's at the having start a of the little season. bit of a go at Danny Kent here. Let's have a look. Whoa, kind of right way wide. Yeah, he was having a go, and Danny Kent's not giving it up either. No, is it? That's putting wide, though. But the Halloran ball. should get past him on the start and finish. We're getting to the closing stages, and O'Halloran does go by Danny Kent, so that's another one he's got through on. He's running out of time, though. We're on he's now. 16. Yeah, he's got to, got to get going here. Well, he's going to make a chunk of time up around Village and Church. We already know that from. Uh, what we've seen throughout the rest of the weekend thus far. It's still Vickers and Cook, though, out front for now. Yeah, closer, though. It's doable, I reckon, for Alron. Yeah, definitely doable, and that's going to help him as well, with Jackson and Kyle Wright stuff ahead of him, exchanging paintwork. And I bet that's what Max Cook's thinking. The steady fellow will be thinking, oh, yes, doable. <laughs> <laughs> More than doable at the moment. Let's see what Jason Halloran can do then at his favourite part of the circuit. This is where he's cleaning up. Here, he Here he goes. He's through on the inside on Kyle Ride. Yeah, and did you know his Kyle Ride's out wide with the back sliding and up the inside is O'Halloran with no sliding. No, absolutely. He's on rails, is yeah. Jason O'Halloran. It's going to be another fast lap here coming in from the Australian as he homes in on another triple here at Thruxton. What he can't afford is the right. Oh, look at Max Cook. Sorry, James. Max Cook yeah, has yeah, made his go. move. Yeah. But Ryan Vickers has got that into the line. And they're a bit heavier no, there. Kyle, Kyle Ride's Ryan. even heavier. That's his chance, surely, of a win gone. He's over the green. You're not allowed to make any advantage up. I think he might be all right. We're now about to start lap 17 of 20, and everyone's just starting to wrap things up here at Thruxton. Yeah. So, Kyle Wright is going to have to be careful. He, he, he's got to make sure that he loses the right amount of time. Otherwise, there'll be a penalty coming his way. What I was going to say was, he, uh, what uh, Haran's got to make sure that the, it's a clean pass and he doesn't get repassed in some kind of shuffle because he needs every, every lap he's got left here. He needs. He certainly does. We're on lap 17 of 20. There is O'Halloran, there's Kent, there's Haslam, Kyle Wright, Idem, Storm Stacey and Jack Kennedy. O'Halloran looking to do the treble here at Thruxton. Yep, this is his part of the track now. He's going to join these guys just from this sector alone. Watch how close O'Halloran now gets to the, the leading quartet up ahead of him. Through Village. Max Cook has just gone through. No, he hasn't. He just dropped a bit. I thought I saw a big slide and Charlie Nesbitt now. Maybe he's been biding his time. Nesbitt goes through. So does Lee Bob Jackson, fresh from his podium from earlier on. It's still Vickers that leads, but look, O'Halloran has joined them. He's with them and he's through on Max Cook into the final chicane here. Yeah, lovely move. That's another one done. We start lap 18 of 20. He's going to leave it and he's left it late. But it still could be very good indeed for Jason O'Halloran. Yep. He is the man. If you're going to put your money on right now, James, you're putting it on O'Halloran. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you would. Three laps left. So we flick it left. No penalty for Cal Ryan. He, did, uh, he didn't make any time in that uh, cut across the chicane. Jason O'Halloran, all eyes on him. Vickers it is that leads. He's led for some time. He's had a few challenges. But he'll know that if that blue McCam Yamaha goes by, it will take some stopping. Yeah, there's no lot you're going to be able to do at this stage, I don't think. It just looks like he's got so much more grip than anyone yeah, else. Th this is his section. Big, fast, lots of centrifugal push. Here's another one picked off. He's homing in on Lee Jackson. He's going to go to that inside line. 
roundabout now. He might even go for two in one, although Jackson himself is trying to make a move. He's going to go for it on Halloran. Four, two, second. Oh, has, has he though? Biting back is Lee Jackson. Well, oh, they're all being sandwiched together. Lap 18 of 20. We now approach the club chicane. Vickers has got that inside line, but O'Halloran is coming again. Lee Jackson now takes a turn of leading, but Vickers comes through and squeezes underneath. Brilliant stuff here. We're about to start the penultimate lap of the race. Well, Halloran went in dead hot to the chicane there, to close the chicane, cut the chicane, cost him himself a little bit of time. He's this is still doable. The two rookies are still in there as well in fourth and fifth. Nesbitt, number 86, number 30, Max Cook, but it's seven. Ryan Vickers, the leads from Jackson. He's got to be a nail by this as to whether Halloran can win it. Well, he already knows that he's going to have to make sure the move sticks. Oh, he thought well, about that, didn't he? Afford to make a mess of a move. He's got, he's got to be clean. It's unusual that he even attempted that, given how quick he is around the back part of the circuit. Is that show panic or confidence? <laughs> to me, it's an interesting question. I think we'll find out the answer <laughs> in about a lap and a half. Vickers, it is for now that leads. And again, look, you can just see, he just looks so comfortable on the bike and smooth, and his bike is gripping. He's got the power on, and everyone else is bucking and weaving, and here he comes. This might be two in one here from Jason O'Halloran. He's going to go through on Ryan Vickers. He's going to have a look as well at Jackson, as he? No. He moves into second place, though. I think he, he just thought about the slipstream there. He's right in the slipstream of uh, Lee Bob Jackson now up towards club we come and he's got that inside line and he's going to try and outbreak Jackson but Jackson's not having any of it here comes Jason O'Halloran they're close they're side by side Jackson's oh. then got the inside line we're going to start the final lap of the race with O'Halloran leading has he's, he gone too early has he gone too early or has he just got too much grip exactly. and they are not going to be able to come through exactly. on it exactly yeah. oh, 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 Johnny Nesbitt getting squeezed by Vickers oh, that was lovely Nesbitt up to third then Lee Jackson what can he do about Jason O'Halloran on the final lap of the race we go through the... Now, Jackson likes this yeah, move. Yeah, 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 he does. He likes a wide line. No way. No, he's not going to do it here. I just, I just cannot see how they're going to get past I Jason O'Halloran. I don't think they've got the grip down this bottom part of the, uh, the, the circuit here. This is just where O'Halloran has been sublime. Lee Jackson is throwing everything at this. They flick left through Noble. This is where O'Halloran is so, so strong. But Jackson, at the moment, doing well to and hang on in there. And just have a slip stream and a lash up into the This is his only hope, Jake. Yeah, I think so. Jason O'Halloran looking to make and it. Oh, it's a, a big, big crash, crash there. That's a biggie. That we Kennedy? might just see a red flag here. Yeah. But for now, we'll call it as we see it. They look like Kennedy and Kent. That was at Noble Corner. We're on the final lap. Lee Jackson trying everything to get into the slipstream, but it's not going to happen. As they get towards the chicane, Lee Jackson is not close enough. Jason O'Halloran will go defensive. And now, barring a mistake, it's treble for surely here for Jason O'Halloran. Sublime performance, that. Unbelievable. What a weekend at Cruxton for McCam's Yamaha and Jason O'Halloran, who does the treble. Nesbitt attacks late on. It is Nesbitt again on the podium. Jackson in second. The championship for Jason O'Halloran back on.